What's up guys, it's Abby Ashola from Culture Shock Nigerians in America, coming to you from Midtown Manhattan. I'm about to head upstairs to talk to Duncan Daniels about his new video for his song, Blindly In Love. And they said it a thousand times. The love is off from blind. But I don't expect you to be perfect. No. So we're here with Duncan Daniels once again. Duncan, the last time we saw you, you premiered your video for Wine I'm Low. Yeah. Now you have a new song, new video, and it's called Blindly in Love. Yep. Tell us about that. Well, um, a blind love explores uh, the concept of blind love in so many different ways that like, you know, everyone is entitled to how they pretty much uh, view the concept of the uh, song in the video. I fall in love with a blind girl, per se, and I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it, but there is uh, a side of the video that shows you how you can also be blind to love in a different way. Blindly in Love is a rock song. Yeah. And in the video, you're, you know, in a band, you guys are performing. And the last song you put out, Wine I'm Low, was pretty much targeted to the Nigerian crowd. Baby, wine I'm low, just stay been down, they go. Baby, wine I'm low. So, why the change? Well, I wouldn't say there was really a change, per se, because really when I started music, I started as a rock artist. Uh, my first album, which was titled I Don't Tire, which is an irony because it was in Pigeon, the title, but the songs were all rock songs in it. It's a 12-track album, all rock songs. Some people who knew me back then know about this album. Unfortunately, some people knew me after like this with MI, so a lot of people sort of like categorize me genre-wise based on that song. Mm -hmm. However, <clears throat> I really got into music as a songwriter, as a pianist and a guitarist playing rock music and writing rock music. Um, but you know, just to, I think Showstop on my second album was an experimental album in the sense that I was just trying to, since I can produce music and I, I can, I'm versatile enough, I was able to like cut across different genres to try and see where I can get a lot of people involved in my music. And it kind of worked, but again, that's really not the real me. And I'm, I was kind of like giving people, a lot of people, what they wanted. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I've come to a point where I feel like I just want to express myself. You want to be who you are. The way I feel. So who is Duncan Daniels, in a few words? Well. As a musician. I, I am a, a songwriter, a, a pop rock artist. That's pop what rock. I am. I delve into R&B and hip hop um, and um, um, dance, electro. On as a producer. It's interesting that you say this because in Nigeria, especially with Nigerian artists here, they feel that you know they have to switch up their sound and create this whole Nigerian vibe and add it to their own sound. Do you think that's what you ended up doing? Yeah, I, I went with the pressure trying to do that. Uh, I'm not saying Nigerian music is bad, but don't hate somebody because, you know, don't hate an artist because he's not doing what she like per se. I know some very good rappers out here in, in the States who, and sometimes I'll say it's not really their fault because this is what, uh, you know, like a, a, an exec, executive, a businessman in Nigeria would tell a, uh, an artist out here like, why are you trying to compete with Jay-Z? Why are you trying to compete with, uh, um, you know, 50 Cent? Why are you trying to compete with Eminem? These people are there. That's what they do. They, you know, come back here and, you know, you know, put some stuff in your music that people understand here and try to be Jay-Z over here. And I'm like, yeah, I think that's a good idea and they'll go do it. So I'm fortunate enough to be in NATO C's <clears throat> or Banky W's. Some not. Some end up coming back. Some end up coming back being, you know, wasted time, you know. There were a few critics of your video. Let's just be honest. Yeah, like, what you know. What would you like to say to them? Well, I mean, I, I welcome you know people who would criticize, especially people who have meaningful criticism. Um, one of the um, one of one of them was um, the fact that the me being portrayed as the guy in the acting part of the video, acting as the guy who meets the girl. My outfit 
then make me look like a your a, outfit yeah my outfit then make me look like a rock artist Oh. Yeah, I look very like, you know, LL Cool J, you know, I was about to like spit a couple <laughs> bars, you know, what's up, what's up. So hip hop like, rock artist. So, uh, yeah, it's more like, what was he thinking? Why did he dress like, why <laughs> those gold chains and all that stuff? Like, he's not represented for rock, and these were people who like rock music, so mm. they were like going bad at me, like, you know, I think, <clears throat> if, I think that was the only thing. And some people were like, why is he rocking a British shirt? Like, come on, like, what's up with that? Like, mm. is, Olymp is he going for Olympics or what? <laughs> ah, free meal. But um, yeah, I'll explain that. The whole reason, trust me, it, everything in that video was done intentionally to make you guys think. The, the two things, the guy who was playing with the band, who actually is me, and the guy who was acting, who actually is me. Two different people. It's just that it happens to be my face because I happen to be singing the song. The other, the character who was, you know, in the storyline was not me. Then the guy who was playing the, the guitar with the band on top of the roof, that was, that was the real me. The rocker. The rocker. So you can look at it that way. Now you can also look at the concept of genres should not def be defined by how people a person dress. look, color of the skin, where you're I from. Can get with that. that was another concept. So, Duncan Daniels, that's all we got this time around. Thanks for being on the show again. Oh, my pleasure. And thanks for having me, sir. You guys are, you guys are all we got. You know, we don't have, uh, you know, <laughs> a lot of people like, you know, Abby who comes to like interview artists out here in the diaspora. You know, but we got Abby. So, thanks. Thank you, Chuck Zonkin. Knuckle. Chuck Knuckle. Chuck. Chuck Knuckle. Chuck. That's they say. <laughs> Chuck Knuckle. Well, this bump. This bump. Yeah, America. It's, we're in, we're in New York. In the UK, it's, it's Chuck that's, that's the Empire State Building right it's behind so me, right? Cool. Yeah. Can you get a shot of the Empire State Building? <laughs> yeah.